if we press and hold on the object selection tool beneath it you'll see the quick selection tool and if we select that you can see that the menu options for this tool contain just an add and a subtract function so there's not the function of drawing an independent selection you're always going to add to your selection or you're always going to subtract a couple new sliders beneath that is this size slider so you can have a very small pixel amount that it will select and beneath that is the hardness and that determines the um, hardness of the of the of the area that you choose to select whether you want it to to be very limited to a certain thickness or you want it to blend more so if we go ahead and say all right we want to add a selection using a very low size and a very low hardness you can see i'm drawing with the apple pencil on the screen and it's just making additive selections until it runs into a point of darkness i think that it really begins to recognize the the borders even on that very low setting you can get to or not a full selection but a very decent amount of the image that you would want to get at least with the image like this that has a pretty decent amount of contrast so let's hit deselect down here in the menu and let's see what it's like with the very high hardness so this is a very hard edged selection and as you can see, it's a little bit different, but it still gets to that point of selecting everything within the limitations fairly quickly. Let's try, let's deselect, hit deselect down here in the menu. Um, as you can see, the, there's a menu option that comes up once you begin to select things. You have the option to deselect. You can make a mask out of your selection. You can erase your selection. You can invert it. You can refine the edge or there's more settings. You can transform the selection or select similar. But for now, we're going to stick to discussing the tools and what they do. And we'll get to the menu options later. So let's deselect and let's now make this a very large size around 380 358 and let's make this a soft edge and let's just make a small selection as you can see that very quickly jumped to the same borders that this selection option this quick selection option detects same thing with if we have a high amount of hardness to make the edge harder you can see now that started to select a little bit too much because i did click and drag slightly so i'm gonna deselect and i'm gonna just tap me just tapping there didn't do the same bulge on the left side but on the right side near his lapel or near the opening of the jacket you can see it did select a little bit too much so let's deselect these three dots at the bottom uh, it brings up some settings that you can adjust and it says use pressure for size the main difference that i noticed is now if i have the same high size and same high hardness and i just tap to select the object it's going to select way beyond the borders it's not really doing the same job at detecting the edge and staying within the limits of the detected edge as it did before same if i make it a soft amount of hardness and i try to select it's not it's selecting way more and it's not detecting the edge the same so if i deselect go back and say okay turn that on use pressure for size and i just tap to select you can see it's back to selecting the limits of the edge much better Don't see that every day. I got an idea. 